So, have you ever wanted to rig and animate a car in Blender, just like the one you see here on screen right now? Well, what if I told you things just got way easier with this new add-on called Launch Control? At first I was kind of skeptical about it, but damn, when I got my hands on this thing, I saw how good it was and how easy it made it to create realistic car animations. This add-on was created by an artist named Daniel Festerbeck. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I used to see his work here on YouTube, but he stopped uploading for a while. Well, now I know what's been taking his time. So, for just a quick demo to show you guys how it works. So, I have here my McLaren uh, vehicle from a long time ago. Yeah. So, uh, really, there is literally nothing, no work left to do except, I think, to separate your car parts into different. Uh, Parts, which is the tires and the body yeah and I think proper, proper naming too so if you want uh, an exact video on how to use the add-on I will li uh, put, leave a link down in the description so you can actually watch Daniel's video on how to use his add-on I've played around with it a little bit so I know a little my way around it just a little bit so I just want to show you the uh, cool parts of the add-on so you know get interested and want to get it for yourself so yeah, as I said, there's really nothing much to do. Just select your car and install the add-on, the normal way to install add-ons. So, uh, and then come over here and just press rig vehicle. I think that should be it. Yep, that's it. So now, if you have your timeline open, you can see if you move around, you can see your car moving. Yeah, this is some. This is how it opens up. So, yeah, this you have your animation controls normally, just like uh, rig a car, which doesn't work well much. I think anymore it was good but not uh, not good enough anymore well anyways uh, back to where we were so yeah if you control tab to it you can actually move this around and see what it does yeah the drifting and the rest but you will not need to use all of this all the time except you want like specific uh, animation controls and before I move on you have uh, animation templates here uh, he, added this i don't know why but these are extremely useful i can't stress enough how useful these are if you just want to make cool animations and you won't have time to do that or you just want to make something quick okay let's just try one of them like this drift zero one let's see if you just click it and then just click on animate vehicle so you have this and your car has been animated just press play and you have this sorry see the drift works everything works fine everything works perfectly so and the other part of it is the physics part which is my favorite part in this item it works so well so once you have your animation down you all you have to do is there are some uh settings you can put in for the physics settings so but yeah that's for another video or you can watch another video to check those out so, all you have to do is just press apply physics and then your car starts to have the physics of whatever it is, it's interacting with like with the road or with a jump or with a turn if you get, you can just have the car bend and sway the way it will work in real life. Uh, I don't really know how to show you precisely how it works, how it is, but hope you, hopefully you can see it working in action here. Yeah, this is probably not the best uh, template to show you that, so let, let me just switch this to a different one. Let's see, okay, yeah, this is the one for jumping over. So let's see where it lands. We can just look over here and... So, okay, so as you can see the way it lands, okay, let me just switch over to object view so it will be clear enough. So as you can see where it lands, it doesn't really do much. Let me turn this off. It just slaps onto the ground and moves on. But all that changes when you add uh, apply physics to it. Yeah. So yeah, it's done. You just have to wait for it to load. Uh, just a little time. So once it jumps and then physics has been applied, hopefully you saw that I did, and it w it was just flawless. 
Yeah, perfect. But if it doesn't work as you would want, uh, it has settings that you can uh, tweak. So these are like, I think these are constraint settings. The maximum pitch, maximum roll, your roll and the rest, wheel force, tire pressure and the rest. All these work very, very well. And also I think there is an update for the add-on right now, which I don't have. So yeah, what if you want to make your animation from scratch? How do you do that? So uh, you can just remove car rig. Yeah, I think he advises never to use Control Z after you have applied the rig. But that's why this button is here to remove car rig once you've rigged it. So let's rig the vehicle again. And let's see, let's see, let's see what we got. So from here, we can actually tweak the animation however we want with this uh, path line. I think it's a curve, but it has some thickness to it, so it's not uh, hard to find in your scene. So, uh, so if you just go to edit mode, you can see the controls for this rig, for this uh, curve. So let's see, turning the curve, it's basically just editing your path, which has already been added for you. You don't need to do anything about it, anything with it. So let's see, we can add. Just make sure it's a smooth uh, curve transition between twists and turns or else you get whatever you put into your, um, to your path animation. So let's see, um, just something quick, not too fancy, a uh, swivel line. So once you go back and then before you do anything, just I think update driving path and that should be done. So yeah, and our car has been animated, let me drag this down, so this is another uh, demonstration on what the physics does, so let's see if I apply physics to it and see what happens, okay, so as you can see the car now follows the path the way it's supposed to, isn't this? This is great, this is awesome. I wish I had this like a very long time ago. I would have made crazy animations with it. And I actually wanted to make one for this video, but I wanted to build the environment in Unreal Engine and that was taking uh, way longer than I expected. Yeah, I, I, I'm still working on it. I'll definitely uh, release the video here later on, but I really wanted to drop this video for Daniel. Uh, yeah, on time. So please, if you're really interested, just link is in the description below to get the add-on yourself. Thank you, and I'll see you guys in another video. And we can clown around when it's just you and me.